Hey, it's me, and it's time for lazy laundry again. So I'll put you on my knees. What have I done today? Um, I've pumped up my tyre on my bike because it was, is that mine? Because it was flat, it's an odd sock. My mum has given me so many odd socks and I have to try and match them up. My dad said the pump, the bike pump is in the back of the Mercedes. So I went there and the old one, or the new one's in there. And so I got that out, but then tried to pump up my tire and it didn't work. Another odd suck. Um, so then I tried it again and it still wouldn't work. So I thought, well, where would the other one be? Because my dad always keeps them in the back of a car for some reason. Obviously to um, pump up the car tyres, but when I need it for my bike, and my dad's car and my mum's car are both not here, then I don't have a bike pump. Um, so I thought, where could it be? And then I looked at the Previa next to, next to the um, Mercedes. We've got loads of cars. <laughs> most of them are dead. We've only got... Well, they all most of them work, just they're not all road legal. Um, but we only used two of them really. My dad's car and my mum's car. Um, but I looked at the Previa next to the Mercedes and looked in the passenger seat and there was the old uh, bike pump. And so I got that out and the battery in the Mercedes is in the boot. So I opened up the boot again and I couldn't find it. And I lifted up the bottom of the boot and it was underneath a panel that you had to lift up to get to it. So I did that and then uh, you have to connect the two wires. It's broken so it doesn't have any clips. So I had to connect the two wires to the battery and I had to hold them there so that they'd keep the connection. Um, but it kept going off and it was sparking loads so there was loads of smoke, not loads of smoke but there was a fair bit of smoke because it kept um, sparking on the battery and then I finally managed to get it pumped up on my bike I've actually got what's called slime tyres so if you get a puncture then it um, fixes it automatically, the slime fills the puncture I can never fold these trousers. I don't know why. Oh well, I'm not really going to be wearing them much anymore. Unless I get a working job in Southampton. By working job I mean like, I have to do labour, have to lift things and stuff. Because they're quite handy. Not like an office job. I don't know if I'd like an office job. I suppose I would if it was um, had something to do with media. Um, I wouldn't like to go straight into uh, network uh, network administration, etc. Um, because I'll have enough of that at uni. I don't really want to um, be doing it in my spare time as well. So I've applied for some jobs in Southampton with uh, fruit and veg wholesalers. Wholesalers? They sell who's? <laughs> oh dear. Um, I've applied to some of those and I've heard that Waitrose are opening a farm shop but I looked and I couldn't find one um, so it may not be opening for like, another couple of years two or three years so, but I'll look into that when uh, when it comes about and I also applied to some supermarkets because if all else fails I'll work in a supermarket just stacking the shelves and on the checkouts that's not my sock. Um, I'm going to fly to Jack Wills, Abercrombie, um, Hollister, Crew, places like that. And also Game Station, Game, uh, Curry's, Comet, um, PC World, places like that. Um, what else is there new in my life? You know that I'm going to Vancouver. I finally got the um, flight sorted. Um, and I, oh, what's that?
What's that for? Oh, I set myself... I set myself alarms because I am going to the cinema today to see Transformers 3D. So I had to set myself an alarm to ring the taxi company. Because nobody is here that can drive. My dad is at work and my mum's at work as well. But I'm sure you will see part of the um, our film later as well. <sighs> I've had this flower on my fleece since March, I think. Um, I think it was for Marie Curie cancer. And someone came in and they were selling them at work. So I had it on my uh, fleece since March. And now I've got to take it off. I could wear it on this. <laughs> that look a bit strange though. Oh yeah, no, Zarel, I emailed her. Um, because if you watch her videos, um, she lives near Vancouver. And she's teaching at the course um, that I'm going on. And so I asked her what there was to do in Vancouver because I've got a bit of time before my f uh, in between my f when my flight lands and when I'm getting picked up. So I wanted to know what there was to do in Vancouver, any place to go. So I emailed her and she emailed back. And then I emailed her because um, if you watch her videos, she go she's addicted to this thing called bubble tea, and. I emailed her saying, are there any bubble tea places in Vancouver, or where's the nearest one, so that I can try it, because I want to see what all the fuss is about. And she emailed back saying um, she didn't know where they were in the actual, by the airport, because she doesn't live close to the airport. They're both odd as well. Um, but then in her next video, she explained about what bubble tea is because I said that I didn't know what it was and they didn't have it in England and she answered my question in her vlog um, which I thought was pretty cool because she's like a big time vlogger uh, sorry I'm stretching to get this stuff um, I've got a pair finally <laughs> grow a pair. Uh, I do make myself laugh. Yeah, um, what was I doing today? I've also got my sleeping bag, roll mat and tent um, to take to Redfest. I had to uh, go outside and fold the tent up again because last the last time I used it was at Redfest last year and um, Henry and Suli um, wrapped it up and they didn't do a very good job of it so I had to redo it and then that's not mine either and then um, managed to get it in the bag but then I couldn't get it up, done up so I had to get Steph and Jen to help me we still couldn't do it so I had to put a zip cable around the handles so that it would hold it together and I think that's about it I'm on my last bit of laundry and so I will talk to you later. I'm Joe, I'm, I'm Jack's pal from, from Rygate <laughs> College. Lunch, That's it. It's brilliant. Catch you later. I'm just planking in the middle of the road. Don't get one over any. Joe, have you done catching? No, no. Alright, son! <laughs>